What's up guys? Welcome back to another video. It's your girl Nikki and let's get into this Nikki Minaj and Megan the Stallion beef. I know I'm late to the party, but y'all know I got a whole lot to say about this because Nikki has been poking a bear with these female rap girls for a very, very long time and she got exactly what she was looking for because Megan unloaded that clip and did not hold back so i know everyone heard the song by now everyone all over social media is dissecting these bars honey and when megan stated megan's law you not mad at megan you mad at megan's law child Nicki minaj was in a state of mental incapacity for the past two to three days okay she was probably balled up in a corner somewhere losing her fucking mind she really played herself the way that she came back on megan you know, talking about her dead mother. You need to conjure up your dead mother and apologize. And she was just saying a whole lot of whole lot of, okay? Really, really making herself look crazy out here in these social media streets. People all in the comments, all over the blog sites were really, really dragging Nikki for the things that she was saying. Now, some people felt that Nikki Minaj's verse was justified, okay? Because when Megan mentioned Megan's law, we know that she was referencing that back to Nikki Minaj's husband and her brother who both have associated cases with our wording younger women or Nicki Minaj's brother is currently serving time for our wording um, his stepdaughter allegedly so that's what drove Nicki over the edge you know I really think she played herself she was on a tantrum for two to three days child like really going off really making herself look bad really saying things that you know would question her character, her morale as a human in general. You know, she really told Megan the Stallion, Stallion like to go conjure up your mother and apologize. And she said that because when Megan went on Gail King and Gail asked her if she had sex with Tory Lanez and she said no, but that of course was not the truth. She really told this woman to go conjure up her mother, you guys, and apologize. Her mother who is deceased, by the way, like that is disgusting Nicki Minaj I am appalled child <laughs> I am appalled you know Nicki Minaj is the type of person who really throws rocks and hides her hands she wants to represent like she's this cute little innocent Barbie doll but a lot of these rap girls saying behind the scenes she is nothing but an evil queen an evil queen a person who wants this this image of being a queen you want that status but you're really making peasant moves, my dear. Because all of this was tacky and it makes you look really, really bad. And that Bigfoot song, it had a couple of hot lines, but it was definitely not a hot song. It was like a cry of desperation. She should have just waited to unload those five songs that she has loaded in the clip. And by the way, why does she have these five songs loaded in the clip for Megan Thee Stallion? Like, this woman has so much hatred for these other rap girls. It's ridiculous. You know, you cannot be competition or Nicki Minaj will subliminally come at you in every song and every chance that she gets. It's crazy that she's like that, you know? She wants to hold herself to this queen status, but really, she's this person who's really jealous and envious of other rap girls. And she really has no need to be because she's so talented. She can really out-rap any of these women. But she wants all of the attention for herself. She doesn't want anyone else to shine. And that's just, it is what it is. She's been like that ever since she's came out. Y'all remember how she came at Iggy, at Iggy Azalea, when Iggy had that hot song and she was getting all that attention and it was charting. And then Nicki Minaj started subliminally dissing her. Like, it's crazy. Nicki Minaj has this pattern historically to sub rap girls who are charting on the charts. That just is what it is. So she really kept poking a bear with Megan. Megan came back. Megan unloaded. And Nicki Minaj don't know how to take it. She don't know how to act. She's spiraling out of control. She's unraveling on social media. I'm surprised that she doesn't have someone taking her phone. Like, where's where's Mr. Petty at? Where's her husband? Where's this tough guy gangster at? Like, protect your wife at the end of the day. She's really playing herself. And we know Megan... Megan got that rock management on her side. 
So she's strategizing. She's being strategic. And I believe she's about to drop an album, by the way. So, you know, it's really interesting to see how all of this is going to play out. Leave your comments down below. Let me know what do you guys think. And I'll catch you in the comments. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and hit those bells. All right. Until then, bye. Call me crazy shit, at least you call me. Feels better when you let it out, don't it, girl? No, it's easy to get caught up in the moment. Cause you mad and you take it all back